this is a, this is sort of a reminder uh, so I leave for the day because um, I can't emphasize this I mean if I was to put a fine point on it underscore everything that's happening right now related to the month of October um, the reason obviously it's going to be intense and what their response is going to be so I'm talking about the dark okay low frequency Okay, they love their heavy density, their self-indulgence, and their perversion of nature. So when they realize that the light is going to split, separate from them, which is to say goodbye, because more and more people are waking up to how essentially the control matrix was operating, that they no longer want to be held captive by that which is seeking to feed on them, when they finally, this sort of gels, and they realize by going into their heart, remembering who they are, and how this sort of works, they're not going to want to be attached to a parasite any longer. They're not going to want to be attached to something that is seeking to control the reality that we thus experience as a result of that consciousness which represents our consciousness that is being held captive to them, to their state of consciousness. We're done with the reptiles, okay? Reptilian consciousness, fear-based consciousness which means they are in fear of losing energy. They are in fear of losing our state of consciousness of the things that we give energy to because we give love away for free. We don't charge any energy for that which is what we are in living spirit. That's why they feed on us, because we're a perpetual source of light that they feed on, because they can't generate any love. So what is a fear-based being going to do ratchet up the fear because that's what they are they are fear based predators that feed on the light we are the light the light is more powerful because if we were not they wouldn't need us as a source of food and energy would they no that's why they know that we are more powerful than they are. Okay? So that's why they have to use their communication technologies and ways in which to drive our energy down. But there is so much light in here now, and all of the things that light warriors, light family star nations that are here to assist us to navigate through these lower density consciousness energies that have held the light captive is ending. It's over. They lost. That's the reason I put up everything I put up. So I want it as a reminder because I'm aware of what they're doing because I look at my timeline through YouTube that a lot of fear. Oh, this is going to happen. Oh, this is going to happen. Oh, this is going to happen. They're doing this. They're doing that. Bye. 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 If they're not coming at you with timeless states of consciousness in which we are what love is, when you see the fear going up, that's a scale measurement of their desperation, which means they know they are losing and we are winning. That's a scale measurement of the light versus the dark. Higher frequency waveform communication and lower frequency communication. They are in fear of losing what they held captive. Bye. We are not what the dark is. We are what the light is. We give out love. We have all the energy that we need to feel joyful and happy and in a state of peace. So when they're ratcheting up the fear, they want us in a state of fear, which leads to indecision, leads to stress, leads to anxiety, and that leads to inaction. Okay? which is one of the reasons why President Trump is like the tip of the spear. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to make America great again. That's why he has a large following. 
They believe in that. That's like when Dan Bongino yesterday said, what is the definition of an American? Well, I know what an American is, even though it's an English alphabetized word, which represents energy. For me, it represents the birds and the bees. So I remember when I was a little boy and I'm with a little girl, okay? She's a birth giver, I'm a seed giver, okay? So the, the plug loves the socket. Bang! There's creation. We got one more life. One more soul has come in to creation. Okay? That's the natural order of things. Which life unfolds with love between a boy and a girl in which a soul comes out of the birth giver and her and I give love to that child so that soul never experiences anything less than what love is in natural cosmic order of creation. They represent self-indulgence and perversion of creation. So in order to maintain captivity of our state of consciousness and our spirit is to allow us to do what? Giving consent to keep giving them energy which lowers ours, which means we live in their perception reality. We're not what they are. We're higher than that. So we choose not to be what you are and experience what you are. We live in a higher realm, which is a higher frequency realm of energy giving because we have learned how to go faster in speed in the waveform of the scalar waves we use to create our own realities. That's what imagination is. That's the creative side of the cosmos where we use love to do it with. So I thought, for example, here, um, the speed of the, the analog or digital experiences, because we, I saw a thing about digital soldiers. Okay, um, And one of the obvious advantages of being analog is being able to filter content and to, uh, based on frequency, the speed of the wave, frequency of input-output scalar analog communication. So I am not digital, even though digits are numerical. Experiences. Who is controlling the holographic simulator? Okay, I love to be with the girl on the planet because... I love her speed. The living magma, higher frequency, scalar, energetic experiences. So you are experiencing where you want to be based on the energies that you love to experience. So, for example, why would I love to be in a saltwater ocean all day long? Saltwater biology. When I was on the island of Kauai and lived in a treehouse, for example, in 1972, um, I was out on a surfboard one day, and I looked down, and I could see 100 feet and still see the sand bottom. And I realized, wow, 100 feet, and I can see the bottom. I looked up at the poly cliffs on how green and lush with the waterfall coming down and realized I am experiencing paradise being with her that way. That's one of the reasons why, for example, I love to be more of a body surfer than it was a board surfer because the body, the DNA and the RNA text editing of the software that we use to, how do I put this, experience with our imagination with the bodies thus experiencing with that infinite imagination. But when you are experiencing what it is you're imagining, you're experiencing what that is. You're experiencing what you created to live in. That's the beauty of running that kind of high frequency speed to be able to do that with as a frame of reference of where you are at any particular moment in a timeless state. So you are essentially responsible for what it is you're choosing to experience, which is the energy that you're using on the input and the output side. So these are input-output experiences that are based on a scale measure. So what are we measuring? How clear is the signal? So now we get into jamming the signals. 
It's one of the reasons I spent so much time because my father was an aeronautical engineer. And so I looked at all the different technologies uh, in communication, for example, like if you want to look at AWACS or at what was a Prowler, I believe it was called an E6B, which was a carrier aircraft, which is about jamming signals. So if you're going to engage in air combat with, say, Russian aircraft or Chinese aircraft, uh, and this is obvious on any military scale, on any chess game that you, that you play, you want to take out their command and control, which is their ability to communicate. So if you're blocking their signals, they can't communicate and deploy their resources against you, can you? So that's why when you get into a statement Putin made about whoever controls artificial intelligence will control the world. It's like, ah, Jesus. So what I'm trying to say here is that now you begin to realize why, in a scalar way, why they put up all their microwave towers and their Wi-Fi, which is to jam Gaia signals. Okay? They don't want us experiencing the girl on the planet who's trying to repair the hybrids. Okay? Which essentially means she's going to change the text editor information in the chromosomes trying to repair what they did, which was forbidden. Okay? Making hybrids. So that's the importance of why when people, particularly in cities, when you're hammered with so much low-frequency signal communications between all their TV stations, all their radio stations, all their transmitters that are set up, uh, that essentially jam all her stuff. You're not experiencing the girl on the planet. You're experiencing their stuff. That's why usually when I go into a city, I can't get out of here fast enough. Okay, I want to be back with her signals. Because I'm native to this planet. My spirit is. My energy is. Okay? So, I wanted to emphasize this simply as a reminder that, yeah, October will be a bumpy ride. It'll be bumpy because they're going to throw as much fear as they possibly can. So, the more people that believe that's going to happen, they're going to put their consciousness energy into that. And that maintains the energy that they can use against us in order to maintain what that is. They want to collapse the timeline. That's essentially what it is. They know that the fear-based timeline is going to collapse, which is the timeline that they occupy, because fear doesn't last forever. Love does. That's timeline zero. So when you know that's basic logic, you know where you need to be. You need to be in a love vibration. So what I do every day is I remind myself what I am. I am what love is in living spirit. I am what love is in living spirit. I give love to everything that is in creation because that's what I am. I am a part of that fabric. I'm a fabric. I am always living within the light of what love is in living spirit. Share that energy with everything that is living in spirit. That's what it means to be alive and to celebrate life with love. That's what we do. That's the energy that we use to experience who we are that we share with others. We are fearless. Love is a vibration. Love is the absence of a fear vibration. So you get to choose which side you're on. Which one would you prefer to be on? A no timeless state or one that collapses? Okay? Which is why all of those different frequencies that represent all of those time clock experiences that represent trauma is what they try and tie into. Remember the trauma. Remember the trauma. Remember the PhD. Remember the experience that traumatized you. Keep us in the lower frequency density with them. Because the more that they can keep that energy going, they can maintain what it is that they are. They're trying to maintain their fear-based timeline to collapse humanity. Okay? But it's not going to work. It's over. I've already been on the other side of this. So anyway, have a good day. I love you all. Um, it's a beautiful day. Enjoy.